welcome to Friday year six. We have made it to Friday and we have finally made it to the day we're going to write our diary entry. It's all been leading to here, so I'm really excited to see what you've come up with. Um, let's look at our objective. So how do I write a diary entry? I am able to include. So you're going to have detailed description of people and events, the correct tense and person, so past tense, first person, self-reflection, make sure you have some adverbials of time in there as well. Let's go. So as we said, you're going to be writing a diary entry from Olive's perspective. So think to yourself or have a chat with people around you. What are the features of a diary that we've looked at yesterday? What can you remember those important features of a diary? Pause the video, have a think before moving on. Here we go. This was our features page that we looked at yesterday. So colloquial language, following your diary style, first person, detailed descriptions, past tense, self-reflection, chronological order, as well as introductory sentences and sen uh, a sentence, adverbials of time, and maybe sentence starters to aid cohesion. So to remind us of the chronology of the diary, have a look at your storyboard from Tuesday. Yes, it was Tuesday. Gosh, was it only Tuesday? And read it to yourself or read it to somebody around you. Pause the video if you need to. Now it's time to think about writing our diary entries. There's another checklist that I've got here for you that you can um, have a quick look at. And you can use it to make sure you've included all those important features. There's some additional things that aren't on the previous slide, things like your paragraphs, conjunctions linking events, commas to show, um, inverted commas to show direct speech, um, making sure you use ambitious words in your description. So adjectives that are ambitious, not just sort of normal everyday, maybe boring um, adjectives. Really think about that interesting uh, vocabulary that really captivates the reader and thinking about your feelings as well. So using the storyboard and the setting day and our day yesterday think about features, we're going to think about the introduction part of our diary. So here's the example I've written. Dear diary, what a day. Today started joyfully, but quickly turned into fear and utter dread. So what I've done there is I've made sure I've used, I have used the feature dear diary and then I've sort of, I've summarised the day, but without giving any information away. So I've sort of tried to captivate the audience. I've, I've told them that it started out as a good day, turned into a fearful or dreadful day. So they know that something's happened. They don't know what, and hopefully it invites them to read a little bit more. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video and it's your turn now to write your introduction for your diary entry. Now this is only the dear diary and the first gripping sentence of your diary entry. Um, so don't go any further than that. But think about the way in which you can introduce your diary entry. Think about if you want to tell people what's happened. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to keep it more of a secret as I did. Think about your introduction as I said. Pause the video and write that now. Okay, next, using the storyboard, so this is where the storyboard's going to come really important, really handy, you're going to write the body of your diaries. Here's the example, or here's an example that I wrote. The day started out very ordinary. We went to school and had dinner as a family when we came home. Mum had outdone herself this time. Whatever it was didn't look edible at all. Cliff described it as brainless. But we ate it anyway, as we didn't want to hurt Mum's feelings. After dinner, Suki said she had an extra special surprise for us. A trip to the Torquays. Remember, that's the cinema. That was the old-fashioned way of saying cinema. We hadn't been for ages. What a treat. So I've put some feeling in, some personal opinion in there. What a treat. And there's quite a lot of colloquialism in there too. Also, remember the first person and past tense that I'm writing in. When we got to the cinema, there was lots of people hustling and bustling about. And the air was filled with excitement at the break from our dangerous war reality. So that was when we talked about what it would be like to go to the cinema, what it would feel like and how you'd feel. Suki suddenly nudged me and said she had to go somewhere and I had to look after Cliff. I thought it was strange, but I was so excited I didn't give it a second thought. Again, some feelings, some personal feelings are being put in there. Out of nowhere, suddenly the piercing sound of the air raid siren went off. 
The excited chatter turned to panicked screams and people were rushing everywhere. It was chaos. It was so scary, I grabbed Cliff and we frantically searched for Suki. She was nowhere to be seen. We were so scared and we were being pushed and pulled from all sides. Once out on the street, I suddenly glimpsed the departing figure of Suki. I had to go after her. She turned and saw me, but strangely didn't look pleased we had been reunited. She ran again and I followed, confused and terrified. So I've put feelings, I've put sounds and sights and smells, things I can hear, lots of description in there. I've got a few um, noun phrases as well. So really thinking in the body of your work, that chronological order, I've made sure I've put everything in order using my um, plan from Tuesday. I've thought about the order in which things happen. I'm not jumping all over the place. I haven't eaten dinner, a bomb's gone off, then I've gone back to the cinema. I've made sure I've thought about the order that things happen in. So what I'd like you to do now is you're going to pause the video and it's your turn to write the body of your diaries. Now remember, you need lots of description in this, lots of adjectives, noun phrases, adverbs of time and the correct timeline to make your writing cohesive. So that um, is really important. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so the last bit, using our storyboards, we're now going to write the conclusion of our diary. So this is the last box, the last part of our diary entry. So this is where we sort of, you can do a summary or you can just do the last event that happened before you do your sign off. So I've written, I can't remember much after this, apart from someone gently touching my face before it all went dark. Although I live to tell the tale, diary, one question still remains. Who is that man? And what was he doing with my sister? Ellie. So I've done a little summary at the end there. I've reminded the reader that Suki was with this mysterious person. I'm explaining that everything's going dark. I've just had this bomb go off and I'm probably unconscious at this point. But there's still a small summary to remind the reader that something mysterious was going on. And then I signed it off with my name at the end. Brilliant. So now it is your turn thinking about how you're going to end it. Are you going to do a sign off that's um, a summary? Are you just going to end it with the last description from your last box? How are you going to make it your personal ending of your diary? This is the end of the video, so off you go and finish your diary. Remember to make sure you sign off and conclude your entry with a personal touch. Now, when you've done this, I am so looking forward to seeing all of your um, diary entries. I know the other teachers are too. So please, please do send them to us. Just take a photo and upload them to the messages on Seesaw so that we can read your fantastic diary entries because I think there's going to be some cracking ones out there. Well done for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're looking forward to next week's English. Bye, Year 6. Have a good weekend.